Well, today we're going to continue with my story of the story of my life, really. But now it is at the point where I had left you with a cliffhanger. We had we were staying with a family, the six of us, and our two little dogs were staying with a very gracious and wonderful family, and. Um, because we had left our own home, we had um, rented a home in Kenya, we believed that we were supposed to move there, and um, but the money had not come in, and so this wonderful family had opened up their home to us, and in the last video, I had really blown it. I let fear get the best of me, and I started to... <laughs> I started to, I, I, I did not act like I should have. You can look at the other video to see. And I, it was terrible. At first it was very awkward, but they were so forgiving and loving. Anyway, we ended up staying there four and a half months. They were so gracious. And the only reason why we left was um, school was beginning. And their child, who was, I think, 14, was... Um, I'm going to begin school and she had to be able to concentrate etc and here was her house was in a uproar whatever and um so anyway anyway during that time that we had been there jose had gotten a little job to try to help you know, we wished that we could help more because we had at first been giving them you know some of our savings to be able to um pay our way <laughs> Because we first thought we were going to be there only a matter of days. And it turned into, as I said, I think I told you, four and a half months. But anyway, they were so gracious. So he had a little, Jose had a little job that he would take a bus to because we had no car, no home. And he would go to um, work at a department store trying to sell things. And, and it was bringing in a little bit of money. But anyway, so the day came when we were supposed to leave. Well, they had let us use their car to go searching around Albuquerque to see what we could find, to where we could find to live. And what we came up with there is, uh, in Albuquerque, on the, a street called Central, there are a ton of motels. And so we ended up on that street looking. And the cheapest one, and the one that accepted us, was um, $200 a week and for one room and uh, donuts were assured every morning <laughs> so at least we were going to have one f um, one meal for sure and um, so we we started to live there and ended up we ended up living there for 13 weeks and in the next video I'm going to tell how supernaturally and just amazingly and all of our needs were met. We, <coughs> Jose had had to quit his job because the bus did not go from that motel over to his job. So, but, and we ended up walking the streets looking for, putting in our applications everywhere at motels, willing to be maids at, um, you know, stores, because we were in walking distance to a laundromat and we were in walking distance to a grocery store and um, motels, you know, so we, oh, and a dollar store, which came in handy. We were in um, walking distance to that. So we uh, ended up putting in, but nothing, nothing came to us. No jobs hired us. And we were in a pickle. We were in such a mess. And Jose and I lived in like, it's like numbness had overtaken us because, <clears throat> it's like we were in such shock of what we had done to our family, believing that we were going, it was going to be that we were going to move to Kenya. It was a mess. It was a mess. That's all I could say. Well, the first, um, I'm not, I'll tell you in the next one how we ended up surviving all those weeks and what happened next. But let me just say that the first, um, the first week or so there was fantastic because now, <coughs> well, it wasn't for Jose. He was very, very depressed. But um, the kids and I, every day, it, this, it was still sunny. It was September, so it was still sunny. And we would um, go out to the pool. There was a pool, 
and um, we were pretty much the only ones that would go to the pool so we pretty much had it to ourselves because it was starting to get a little nippy a little cold but we would have so much fun because the pool was surrounded by um, little stones that was the decoration for it I guess and what we would do with no when nobody was looking we would um, throw a ton of stones into the pool <laughs> and then we would have a game to see all of us it would be like on your market set go and the five of us would would dive in and see how many we could get out so for the first week or so we were very thrilled you know with that and then all hell broke loose the day it rained the first day it rained it's like all of a sudden the kids were you know what have you done you know you've ruined our lives our kids were at that time timmy was 11 i think and then um and then uh you know went upwards so and there was in that one little motel room there was um six people and two little dogs and we had moved the furniture around so that my the bed that I made out of the 17 blankets would we would be able to pull it out at nighttime and roll it up during the day and in the place where the little chairs and table usually go and uh, it was it was crazy because here we were all of these six people two dogs and one little room for 13 weeks and the only thing we were sure of was if we if we paid our rent which we did for for uh, two hundred dollars a week we were assured that that we would have coffee in the morning and we each would have one donut Jose and I would go very early and make sure that we got the donuts but it was not pretty it was not pretty <clears throat> and so i will tell you more later it's, you'll see all the little things that happened to to keep us alive during that time and to open the way for us but that is all for now bye <laughs>